Hey y'all, RW out here, getting ready to design another RC chassis. Uh, this one's pretty cool, but as you can see, there's a downward angle to the front and rear lengths, and I want to flatten that out a little bit. And the only way to do that is to totally redesign the chassis, get the servo up a little bit higher, uh, bring the shock mounting points up a little bit higher. So, just a little rainy day project here, since I got all my orders shipped out for my shell prepper tools. Just play with my RC a little bit while it rains. For me, this is really the fun part, you know, the design part, where you, you've got a proven element to work on and improve from. So, uh, here's the existing chassis after I've taken it off, and basically get a big enough piece of paper for the whole thing. Give yourself some room to grow. And get yourself a guideline to start from. So you're not working just from the edge of the piece of paper, which is difficult to measure from. And so now that I've traced the chassis on here, what I can do is alter it. So what I really need to do is take this whole component and transpose it about 15 millimeters higher. Same for this whole rail, and I need to build out to this point. So that's sort of, I want to keep about the same height. The height's working for me, but uh, this has got to come up. Okay, so after some fiddling around, figuring out how to get the whole servo assembly up higher and keep the roof line low and all that crap and maybe change it around a little bit make it a little different so fiddle 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 and now I've got something that I can glue onto a piece of Lexan and cut out right, so I used my paper pattern to make a wooden pattern so I can route a new chassis out of Lexan, that's the old one that's the drawing I went from. Template. And I'll show you why I have these particular sized holes. It's so that I get my router in there. So that's the purpose of that. You see these are a lot smaller. That's because I did it all on the scroll saw. This one I want to just replicate it out on the router. That way I can round over the outside edges. Just going to try that out. I think that'll be kind of cool. I'll show you the completed chassis another time. But uh, this was basically about designing a chassis and getting ready to make it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe it gave you some ideas for your own RC chassis and how to make them. Cutting board material from Walmart is a good way to go. Delrin, very strong. Or you can buy Lexan from eBay. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting the Mountain Storm Workshop.